Hey guys, this is Tina Taz with Slice.ca and I am here to talk to you about season three of Drop Dead Diva, which has just started. I'm a huge fan of the show. I just, every week, need to get stuff off my chest about this show. So let's just get right into episode one. Wow, Grayson hit by the car like at the end of season two and now we start off again uh, with him in a coma. And of course he's in a coma, uh, he was hit by a car. So I'm glad they took the car hit seriously. Like, hello, at the end of season two, he looked at her when he was on the road and said, Deb. So we're all waiting with bated breath as to what's gonna happen. And he wakes up from his coma, and if you watch, you know, he doesn't remember anything uh, leading right up to their dinner, right before he ran after her. Is anyone going to address the fact that Grayson was running after Jane? Nobody seems to have asked that in this episode, not even his fiance. Because I'm telling you, if that was my fiance, I'd be a little bit like, why were you running after that woman? So this brings me to the unlike of this episode. I don't like this. This gaping hole in the plot line or the storyline that they're, they're leaving open, ended really, or just not addressing. Moving on, I do have a like. This is my like. I do like though that Grayson is in a you know a coma and has forgotten things because if he did know that Jane was dead, the show would kind of be over. And I don't want that. I want more Fred and Stacy. So yeah, that's my like. Let's talk about star sighting for this episode. Leanne Rhymes uh, graces us in this episode as uh, a witness to her ex-husband who is potentially in a, a situation with hitting another girl. Anyway. That being said, let's talk about Leanne Rhymes and how she didn't sing in this episode. A little surprised, if I if I might say so. A little sing-off between her and Brooke Elliott, no? A little bit, a little bit. Couldn't have done that, that would've been fun. Maybe, I, I don't know, I'm gonna put this out there to Ms. Rhymes' people, maybe she, she's trying to move away from that, focus on some more acting, you know, her acting career, want to take it very seriously and devote her attention, 110% to that. Now, every week there is always uh, moral, if you will, of the show, which I like to refer to as the full house moment. Where we hear that little music coming through, you know, into the episode, in our heads, and we think to ourselves, huh, it's pretty serious, heavy stuff. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Hmm. Do you hear the music? So anyway, episode one, season three, we're kind of back to where we started with season two. The only thing that may be different is that Fred and Stacy are still an item. I'm such a fan for Fred and Stacy and Fred. I love Fred. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Clearly the writers have, uh, they want to take us on a journey where Jane might just have to lead out her own life now without Grayson, but I'll have to get used to that. We'll see. Until then, ta-ta for now, divas. Bonjour, comment ça va aujourd'hui? Chapter Diva. Little bit, little bit. Can I do that?